Alrighty, guys, let's talk about the weather. We got the strong winds right now, very gusty at the coast and also in the deserts. And we're going to see the winds increase through the San Fernando Valley and also for the basin as we go throughout the morning. The winds are expected to peak this morning. Second half of the day, the winds will gradually diminish. Meanwhile, we have that snow in the mountains, snow possible at the grapevine. We're already seeing some issues out there. And at the coast, high surf, uh, possibility for some coastal flooding for places that are usually dry. So here's a look at that coastal flood advisory. It's in place until noon. So we already have these large breaking waves, five to eight feet for uh, coastal locations and high tide this morning combined with those large waves. Ay, ay, ay. That's going to happen at 820 and we're expecting for the high tide to be around seven feet. So folks that are prone to those uh, flooding conditions at the coast, uh, just be aware that you could have that flooding this morning. Be careful. Now, let me show you the weather for our friends in the Inland Empire. You've got 40s this morning. You've got some cloud cover, not as cold as yesterday. Right now, it is breezy for you. Uh, we'll have temperatures in the 50s around 9 a.m., starting off with those 40s. Around noon, you're at 57 degrees, and at that time, we'll have that sunshine. So any moisture we have, rain or snow this morning, is going to wrap up quickly, and uh, the weather the rest of the day is going to start to clear up, and we'll have those sunny skies. So we're going to see that around noon for the Inland Empire with these continued breezy conditions. Now winds coming out of the north, look at the temperatures. That's going to make these temperatures feel a whole lot colder. So bundle up everyone. The weather through the evening as the sun gets a little lower in the sky will have clouds increase once again in the overnight hours. Temperatures right now, not as cold as yesterday. We'll take it. We've got 50s and 40s, but unfortunately uh, we got to deal with the winds. 40s up in the deserts and our friends in Big Bear right now are 28 degrees. Afternoon temperatures still feeling like January. We're going to have 60s and 50s. So temperature-wise, not a whole lot has changed in the past few days. The numbers have remained below normal uh, across the area for this time of year. 50s in the deserts in Big Bear will have 32 degrees. So here's the reason why we have this unsettled weather. It's this area of low pressure that's to the northeast of us. This system will gradually slide its way towards the east, and the weather for us on Friday is looking a whole lot better. In fact, tomorrow we will start off with a few clouds throughout the day. Uh, we're going to see those winds doing a whole lot better. Better as we head into the weekend, that's where we're going to have clouds increase and uh, even a slight chance for some rain on Sunday. So here's your seven day forecast, everyone. Today it's all about the winds. Tomorrow things are going to be calmer than over the weekend. Clouds increase. There's going to be a system up to our north, but it does look like we'll stay dry temperatures in the 60s next week. Check it out. A slight warming trend. The numbers are going to be closer to 70 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday. The forecast in the valleys and Inland Empire, windy today. Winds will be weakening during the afternoon and overnight. Tomorrow, it's uh, still cool. And then over the weekend, temperatures a little warmer, mid to upper 60s with increasing clouds. Next week, we've got 70s in the forecast. So if you're a fan of those milder temperatures, that's coming real soon. Just hang in there. The high desert 50s today, the low desert in the 60s. And finally, in the mountains, we have the chance for snow today. Avoid travel up there uh, this morning. It'll be better to travel during the afternoon. Temperatures through the weekend will be in the 40s.